Today on the channel, there's truly no way home with Marvel's MJ, don't call her Mary Jane, and of course, Spider-Man. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! channel for another Spider-Man No Way Home unboxing and review and today on the channel we got Mary Jane and we've got Spider-Man but for all your Spider-Man needs and a whole lot more make sure you're hitting up DJC collectibles use discount code Adolf DJC to save 8% off your entire order gotta get a deal and that's exactly what I did is I picked these up from DJC collectibles uh, and they're shipping right now if you are in the mood in the mood there you go and of course we're gonna do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're gonna see where it goes from there we're gonna do ladies first as we always do don't call her Mary Jane call her MJ oh there it is old Michael Jordan herself right there looking good uh, but a plain Jane figure if there ever was one here but always great for a person in a stands person in a crowd person walking on the street if you need something like that, or she can be MJ for you. But a very, very small figure here. Not a ton of bells and whistles, as we do know. But there it is, Spider-Man No Way Home packaging. Got the three Spider-Man up here, Marvel Legends. Plastic packaging in the front. Very sturdy cardboard on this. You got the little poster back there. Jibber Jabber, UPC on the bottom. And then we got a little bit of blurb. Let's see what it says about our old friend, MJ. MJ was looking forward to senior year with Peter and Ned, but the reveal of Peter's Spider-Man identity disrupted her plans. Boy, did it ever. Boy, did it ever. And what was that show she was on, Disney Channel? Oh, I forget. I forget what that show was, but I used to watch that show with my daughter. I forget what it was called, but I used to watch it. There you go. See you later. Goodbye, Spider-Man style. See you later. Goodbye. Ooh, knocking on against the Detolf. Wouldn't that be something? Just cracks the Detolf case, glass shatters everywhere. Oh, that would be a great, that'd be an all-timer of a video, let me tell you. There's old MJ looking good. Got extra hands with her as well. I'm going to pull her out of the package. Pop that bad boy out. And can we get these hands out? Can we get these hands? There it is. All right, we're getting there. See you later. Goodbye. All right, we're going to start with MJ. We're going to start with these hands going on. She's got two fists of fury out of the package. If she needs to throw down, she's ready to go. And then she does have the splayed out hands right here. So choose your own hand adventure, as we always say. And this is the one that the Hasbro team at the end of one of their live streams, they showed this off to kind of talk about, hey, here's what's coming. Here's the clue to the next reveal stuff. And I still don't know what this thing is. Obviously, it's from the movie somewhere. But it's a box at the end of the day. It's just a box is what it looks like. It's a Super Collider in a box, like the, the Megadeth album nobody talks about. I like Super Collider for Megadeth. Most people did not. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I know I'm in the minority there. But, yeah, you get the box of doom with her. It is what it is. But now we get down to MJ, the old main event. And she's got a big sweater on. She's got a big sweater going on. But all day long, I would know this is Zendaya or Zendaya. Zendaya? Uh, I would know that is her here. Probably because I watched that Nickelodeon show. What was that with Bella Thorne or something? Can't remember the name of the show, but I was here for it. I was here for it. We were watching it. We were watching it. Old Elle and I. Uh, but looking good in the head, head sculpt department. I have no issues with this. Love the ponytail. Love the braiding sculpted in there. A little hair on the side. Two eyes, a nose, a mouth, and two ears. You can't ask for much more than that. It definitely looks like MJ from the movie, no doubt. And then she's got the big baggy sweatshirt on over the top. Looking good. White underneath and a shirt underneath there. Two fisted hands we mentioned. And then she does got some jeans going on. Are they capris? They're a little short down here to her boots. Got the socks sticking out the top there. Of course, no pinless joints on the legs on this one. We do get pinless elbows here. So we're playing a little bit of hits. A little bit of hits here today. Arms do go all the way around for us. No bicep cut. You do get the side to side of the elbow. Single jointed elbow. Very, very small petite hands on her. Fist of Fury. Waist articulation. No hula hoop. You do get the old splits right there if you need it. Thigh cut. Double jointed knees. Boot. Nope. No boot cut on her. But you do get ankles back and forth side to side. So you do get a little of that action. Does she fit on a ringside collectible Mattel stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10% at ringside collectibles. And she does fit on the Mattel stand very well right there. So a bit plain Jane. Not a ton of bells and whistles with this one here. But a lot of people missed out on the old MJ of old. I do have that here. 
definitely an improvement with this new one. I think it feels a little better, looks a little bit better to me. Maybe it's a recency bias, I don't know. But a lot of people probably missed out on this back in the day. Now they get a second chance right here. Of course, new collectors diving in every single day and people diving out as well as we know. Uh, but definitely looks good and looks different enough. And I like that, that they made them look a little different between these two. So I'm here for that all day long and twice on Sunday. So there it is, old MJ. Now we turn our attention over to, of course, the third and final Spider-Man here of this wave. We're going to hit it right up here, looking good. And uh, for a whole generation, this is their Spider-Man, as we do know. So you never know how it's going to net out there. You know, it's just always interesting. For my generation, Spider-Man was Peter Parker from uh, the Spider-Man animated series on Fox. That was my Spider-Man from when I was growing up, as we didn't have a lot of that live action stuff till later on in my life, later on in my life. But there it is, Spider-Man looking good and feeling different than that three-pack. And we'll show that here in a second, so stay tuned for that. Spider-Man No Way Home, three Spider-Man at the top, Marvel Legends right there just says spider-man so he's not amazing or anything he's just straight up spider-man and then you get the bubble window there you get the extra hands a little extra hands here you get the extra mask and then of course the human head we've been looking for old tommy boy looking good got the blurb on the side got the poster on the side then you get the upc warnings all that fun stuff let's see what it says about spider-man spider-man is peter parker exclamation point our friendly neighborhood whip slinger is unmasked, no longer able to separate his life as a high schooler from the high stakes world of being a superhero. And if they know who you are, is it worth wearing the costume anymore? I don't know. You guys tell me. You guys tell me. I'm going to pull him out. Uh-oh, losing stuff. There it goes. See you later. Goodbye. Spider-Man style. Bam. See you later. Goodbye. And there it is. A very classic Spider-Man suit on this one as well. Very classic. Hitting home for me. Dare I say no way home. But I do like this outfit on this one. Pop these hands out. We got some of that tape going there, holding everything down. There it is. And can we get the I love you, brother hands out? I love you, brother. All right, there it is. See you later. Goodbye. All right, let's get down to these hands first. That's where we're going to start. We're going to start with those I love you hands, like a young Jimmy Superfly Snooka. Got those going on here. He's going to be spinning some webs all day long with those. Then you do get the wall crawling hands. So we always like these with our Spider-Man looking good there. And then the Fist of Fury, really paying all three hits. Those are the three Spider-Man hits, if you ask me. Two Fist of Fury right out of the package, looking pretty good there as well. And now we get him. Very interesting head sculpt on this one. And I can't remember off the top of my head. I think this uh, we've seen this before. It might have a little bit of different paint apps to it, but very similar to the other ones. Really does feel like a high school kid. He looks like he's uh, uh, gotten in over his head a little bit. He's a little underwater. He's got that feeling like, what did I get myself into is what he looks like in the head department here. But no doubt about it, looks just like uh, Tom Holland, I believe is his name. Looks just like him. Good hairdo, good skin color, good skin tone. Looks like him all day long. And then you do get the second head, which is the Spider-Man head. No issues with this one. And I love this Spider-Man outfit. It looks good. An interesting blue color against the red. Looks like Spider-Man all day long. Two big eyes on this one as well. Very on brand for Spider-Man. No issues with this one. As, as far as the looks department, I don't see any paint problems anywhere. You got Spider-Man logo on the front and a little bit small up high. You got it in his lower back right there looking good. And then you got the blue and red attack with the black webbing throughout. Really on brand for a Spider-Man figure, if you ask me. Of course, does got the butterfly shoulders. Got to have those with Spider-Man. Arms go all the way around for us. You do get a bicep cut. Double jointed, pinless elbows. We're here for that. Hands back and forth, side to side. Of course, fist of fury, as we talked about. We do get the head back and forth, up and down. Head is removable, in case you don't want that. And it all depends, you know. Do you want to display this guy with uh, the normal head or you want the masked head? You got to choose your own adventure on that one. Hula hoop at the top. No traditional waist, but you do get that ab crunch in there with the hula hoop. Big old splits if you do need them, I believe. Yes, he does have drop-down hips, just like the G.I. Joe or Mattel Elites. Valiverse figures, there's a lot of them playing those hits these days. Thigh cut. Double-jointed pinless knees once again. Then you get a little bit of side-to-side -side and up and down there on the old foot department. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. And what do you know? He fits just like MJ did on the old ringside collectible stand. Looking pretty good right there. And then we got this one with that three-pack. We've talked about that in the other Spider-Man unboxing. Uh, we did get the three-pack O-Doom. And a little different, though. I am here for that. Of course, you can switch these heads back and forth. You can do that. You can choose your own Spider-Man adventure at the end of the day. 
however you want your Spider-Man to look. But I'm going to have one set, I guess, with the human heads on and the other set with the mast heads on. That's how I'm going to do it for my collection. But you guys let me know how your collection is going to look. Are you going to display them the same way? Are you one or the other? Or are you not getting any of these? I guess let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bells. we got videos every single day. And then some. We even got more content, if you can believe it, over on Patreon. And Patreon, of course, your best way to support this very YouTube channel and all the content it does bring. We got videos every single day on Patreon as well as the YouTube channel. So check it out if you are so inclined. Link in the description down below. You can also support the channel at .com. Search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for Spider-Man No Way Home and MJ2, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.